So hey guys, it's a Wednesday and it would be a coding or a college life related or skill related video. So in this video, I'm going to talk about things that I have learned from my GSO experience and what you should do right now if you want to be a part of GSO 2022. I was getting a lot of messages on LinkedIn on on, on Insta, just Instagram. So I thought ki bhai, ab to banana pe chahiye video because see, I know that abhi GSOC ka wo zone nahi aaya hai. People are not searching for GSOC and ye video shayad se nahi chalega. Ye video shayad se koi dekhe abhi nahi abhi because abhi koi search nahi kar raha iske baare mein. But mujhe laga ki yaar main abhi agar ye video nikalunga, ki tum log ko jo jitne bhi log dekh rahe hain, unko bahut help hoga because now is the right time to start. Now is the best time to start when there is not much competition when there isn't anyone searching for GSOC, which is the whole point. So, if this video doesn't work, it works, man. I mean, I don't see views, views, so I don't watch anything else. I focus on the quality and the value that I'm, that I'm providing. So, if this video doesn't work, it will also work. But those who are watching, uh, please, take it seriously, lena, because you can actually have a really good head start. I'm telling you. So, if you're new to this channel, I am Devansh Dikshit. I am currently in my third year at uh, Bridge Pilani com um, Pursuing Computer Science and I uh, was a part of GSOC 2021 at CircuitWorse and I have successfully completed my project uh, at CircuitWorse. So yeah, let's get started. GSOC, if you don't know, is basically stands for Google Summer of Code, which is one of the largest open source program and it is organized by Google. So the first and the foremost thing that you should keep in mind if you are planning or targeting for Google Summer of Code 2022 is to start as early as possible because there aren't a lot of people who are aware of this program. So you'll have a head start and uh, the also the, the, the main reason that you should start contributing now is uh, you'll, you'll get to interact with the mentors since they are, there would be more free right now and they would have a lot more time to give to you. Since uh, if you are a newbie, uh, then to you would require some time to understand the code base or to understand the tech stack. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> now is the time. Next thing is to choose your organization wisely. Now let's say you are, if you are learning a tech stack, if you are not super sure about the tech stack, it's still fine. Just get started because choosing the organization is the hard part. You need to go through every organization that was selected last year. You, you need to see what is what is their stack and what are the technologies that they are working with then you'll have to see if the work that they are doing or if a project that they did uh, is is of interest to you is, is if does it uh, like do you feel curious regarding how to build that or are you generally interested to build that project uh, why am i saying that because let's say if you are not selected for gsoc or let's say if that project is not selected for gsoc you can still contribute to that project and you would love doing that. So it's, it's not, it's not always about getting into this program or doing that. It's more about the process and the learning that you, uh, also do <laughs> with, along with, uh, yeah, along with that. So GSOC mein hone ka fayda ye ho ki your, uh, the work that you do would be paid up. You would be, uh, getting a good stipend, uh, uh from Google. That is one of the great thing at this a stage and also certified from Google. So yeah, two, two inches of the but there's a lot of learning that is there. So yeah, choose your organ organizations wisely, have at least one or two options or three options according to your choicing choices and liking. And then third step, start communicating and start being active on the uh, with with on the organization uh, organizations mailing list or their communication channel. For me, for me it was the Slack channel. Uh, also, if you haven't checked the video of my GSOC documentation, I basically documented my journey doing all of this from selecting organization to finally getting selected for uh, GSOC. I have documented all of these things for all like my six month journey on a video. So check that out. Uh, choosing an org becomes a really, really good task because a lot of time, times what happens is you end up choosing some organization which when you interact with the people, you don't like that organization. So you might as well change it. It's, it's good that you do it in at, at the, I don't know, at the earliest stage possible. It would get tougher and tougher because you'll have more, like you'll have lesser time and there would be more people, uh, joining the competition. I would, I would vouch. I can actually say that, that getting into getting selected for GSOC is 
a lot harder than actually completing the project because uh, it's not see completing the project you have people to help you you have you have your mentors you have the org organization people you have your friends that you have made who are other gsoggers you have a lot of people to help but at this stage you, it's just you competing with every other person who is basically trying to get into gsogg and uh, yeah that's it like that's the hard truth so <laughs> after selecting the org at least two three orgs of which you like uh, and you start you, you and after you have started communicating with the mentors uh, an important thing currently is to stand out from uh, the people so uh, i haven't i didn't personally do it like it wasn't intention intentional but the only the person that i have communicated from the start was the organization owner and he's he's a really 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 awesome person so he he used to help me a lot he used to give me tasks and i used i used to do it him do it for him uh, i'm not sure if it helped me stand out but that's what i felt ki i at least stood out since uh, he was basically the point of contact whatever he used to do tell me ask me to do i just did that so that became a really good advantage i feel after you are you have chosen the organization after you have communicated on the channel after you have stood out uh, in front of the people then comes the most tough part that is to actually sit and understand the code base and to actually without any uh, what say ki like genuinely help people in the organization now by helping people in the organization i mean uh, new members there are a lot of new members who would come so you need to be the person who kind of sends the first message to them interacts with them uh, says hi and yaar ye sab na genuinely agar tum karoge genuinely help karna chahoge tabhi aayega ye tum fake nahi kar sakte ye sab cheeze let me be honest with that also understand the code base you need to sit you need to go through the existing code base which might be huge depending on your organization uh, what organization you are choosing uske hisab se vary karta hai code base but you need to see kya hai understand karna and the best way to understand the code base is to solve issues now which issues to solve you may ask there are would there would be a lot of issues which would be listed you need to find the level which is good first issue or uh, a small bug solving bugs is easier than Uh, creating features because features के लिए तुम्हें बहुत सारी चीज़ें समझनी पड़ती हैं but bug हो सकता है कुछ हो या फिर एक minor adjustment हो जैसे uh, let's say if someone creates a good first issue of uh, aligning the text of the HTML static page from right left to center so that is a really good first issue but you'll have to know where that page is so तुम्हें पहले उसका पूरा setup करना पड़ेगा then you'll have to see कि अच्छा इस file के इस इसमें है uh, this this static page and then you'll have to make changes so the change is pretty small but the process that is involved is kind of a good learning experience right because to make pure bade se code base ko samajh raha hai this is for this so ye static page is folder mein hoga idhar 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 and there's a shortcut by the way so if you you use any text editor you can directly search for uh, words that are there on the web page to tumhe wo seedha file dikha deta hai so there would be like five six files jisme wo use hoga to tum uske hisab se dekh sakte ho but वॉइस पॉइंट का वीडियो इस वीडियो का पॉइंट नहीं था सो या दीज आर द थिंग्स विच यू कैन डू एंड ट्रस्ट मी इफ यू डू दिस इट वुड क्रिएट अ मैसेव एज फॉर यू एंड बाई एज आई मीन इट वुड इंक्रीज योर चांसेस जस्ट डोंट गेट डिस ये पूरा प्रोसेस जितना भी होता है द प्री चीज ऑफ प्रोसेस ऑल्सो इज फुल ऑफ लर्निंग्स तो मैंने तो बहुत कुछ सीखा था ऐसा बताऊँ तो दिस हैज़ बीन अ रियली गुड गिफ्ट एंड समथिंग विच आई वुड टेक विद मी थ्रू आउट माई कॉलेज लाइफ एंड प्रॉब्ली आगे भी फॉर माई कॉर्पोरेट लाइफ जो भी होगी आगे So this would be real. This was a really amazing experience, and trust me, it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth the efforts that you are putting right now. I've been through that. Uh, again, you can check out my documenting my journey. So yeah, these were the six, seven steps that I talked about, uh, and I hope you I added value to your life, and I hope you like my content. Yeah, if you like my content, please please subscribe. I have I have uploaded some eighty five videos. I'm trying to reach the hundred mark, and. Uh, यार इफ़ यू शेयर इट विड योर फ्रेंड्स इट वुड मीन अलॉट यार मतलब सपोर्ट मिलता है मुझे बिकॉज मुझे बदले में कुछ मिल नहीं रहा एंड uh, मैं बाकी और भी चीज़ों पे आऊँगा अभी तो अभी वीडियोज़ बनाऊँगा उन सब पे कि स्पॉन्सरशिप उन सब का क्या हाल है तो आई एम जस्ट क्रिएटिंग क्रिएटिंग एवरी सिंगल डे ट्राइंग टू एड वैल्यू सो इट वुड रियली मीन अलॉट इफ़ यू कुड सब्सक्राइब एंड लाइक माई वीडियो और शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स सो
See you. Bye. Thank you.